whether you are an Android or an Apple fan, you cannot deny that iOS is one of the most fluid OS out there. It does a lot of things very well, but one area where it kind of lacks is web browsing. Now the stock browser here is Safari, which although is fast, is definitely behind the competition in terms of overall features and honestly doesn't even look that good. Well, if you share the same emotion, this video is for you. Hi guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about five amazing web browsers for iOS that can replace Safari for you. So well, let's get started. Now the very first app in the list is without doubt Google Chrome and uh, it is one of the most widely used browser and chances are you are using it on your PC as well. As such, having Chrome on your iPhone allows you to sync between the browsers seamlessly Interestingly, Google's own app work better on iOS and Chrome is a great example of that since it's not that heavy on memory here. And it's not just the browser that's better. Google's own websites load faster inside Chrome and the recently introduced light mode helps you save a ton of data as well. Now this is my go-to web browser mainly because of the super awesome sync feature between the desktop and the iOS. But now I can understand that some users might not want to use Chrome since they don't want any trackers behind them. And in this case, one of the best options would be Firefox Focus. This is a privacy focus browser that works in incognito mode all the time. You can access the pages you want and the browser won't even save history or any cookie at all. The moment you exit the app, it will also clear all the temporary data if downloaded while browsing. Now while it's most useful if you find something important online, it will be gone the moment you exit the app. So do remember that. Now, if you want the ultimate privacy control while also keeping a track of your websites that you visit, Tor is what you have been looking for. And honestly, Onion is easily the best Tor browser out there. The apps comes with support for HTTPS everywhere while also securing your traffic from insecure wireless networks and ISPs. However, do keep in mind that browsing inside the app will definitely be slower since your traffic is encrypted and delayed through the Tor network. Okay, some people want Tor for ultimate privacy, but some just wanted to be able to access restricted websites. Well, why not use a web browser with a VPN instead? And if you fancy that idea, you should definitely take a look at Aloha browser. Now this browser comes with limitless VPN inside itself, along with ad blocker too, but you should only use it when the website throws a lot of ads on you because these ads are important to publishers like us. Interface isn't that smooth, I agree, but at least everything is at the bottom so there is easy navigation. Now about the VPN, there's a high chance that the speed would be reduced and you would not get the specific country that you are opting for and in such cases you can go ahead and buy a dedicated VPN service. Now we have already done a video about the same and I'll be mentioning the link to the same in the video description. So do make sure that check that out. Now the last browser on the list is Brave browser and I can't recommend it enough. Yes, it offers HTTPS everywhere and zero tracking but that's not what's unique about it. Actually, there is hardly anything unique about Brave, but in true Apple fashion, it does everything you ask for it perfectly. It offers you one of the smoothest browsing experience and with Brave Reward, it also pays you to browse on it. You can also log the app using Face ID and each option under Brave Shield is customizable, which basically gives you full control on the level of protection you want. So well guys, that brings me to the end of this video. As always, you will find the download links to all the apps I've talked about in the description box. Also, if there's any other browser that you'd like to recommend to our viewers, please do mention them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit the subscribe button. And yes, that's all for this video and I hope to see you in our next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.